I don't feel that consciousness is constrained by the physics, physical laws of, of electromagnetism. Um, and in fact, that the, the, the underlying nature of the cosmos is it's, it's one big hologram. And so in a hologram, you have the information of the whole present at every point. And so when you really extend that fully cosmologically all the way down to the Planck scale, that the information of the entire universe is present in every point. Obviously, we don't see that. We don't hear it. We're not interacting with the totality in our full conscious awareness mm. all the time. Uh, although we are beyond our conscious awareness, we are doing that all the time. That's the nature of the interaction with the, the Planck field, with the plenum, you know, the, the vacuum, the, the universal hologram at that Planck scale that is constantly informing us of the totality of the universe coming up through our, our you know, DNA molecules and into the cellular structures and into the biology and into ever increasing levels of complexity. This is the space memory network, uh, you know, the, the emergent theory of consciousness from co arising from the feedback feed forward mechanism of the universe coming into greater degrees of complexity that ultimately arise into what we are, you know, and other sentient beings and actually all beings, same process and at all scales is happening where the, the universal field is, is emerging in this feedback feed forward loop system at all levels. And that system is information exchange, and we could then extend that to say that's consciousness. There's an interaction of awareness, intelligence, uh, self-reflexivity, -reflex um, decision-making, all happening at all scales. And that is not dependent on the speed of light, that process. That's a, that's a process that is transcendent of that, and as being one big cosmic hologram, the this is also why what you were referring to, Jamie, quantum entanglement, you know, where it's an instantaneous uh, uh, process happening across vast distances beyond the speed of light. It's because that information exchange is, you know, what they, what they call quasi-instantaneous. <laughs> I don't know why. There's a slight difference between instantaneous and quasi-instantaneous, so there must be some little lag there but not much <laughs> so you know that's that's an extension of first of all why can we even think beyond the speed of light because i actually think that that's what we do in our full you know in the fundamental state of what consciousness is throughout the universe